All right, question number two over here on the right. I have a question for both candidates regarding domestic violence. Mr. Oliver, I've heard you speak on the radio and on television regarding your opinion that one of the ways we could solve the problem for some of the domestic violence situations we have is to put a woman who has been victimized by the man, and I believe your terms were a boxing ring, and teach them how to box instead of prosecuting those cases. So my question to you is, are you kidding? And I would also like to ask Mr. Anderson whether or not he would see a different viewpoint on that and why. Why do we prosecute cases where the woman uh, doesn't want to cooperate? Why would we do that? Okay. I think it was directed to you first. It was directed to me first? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, I have a case pending now. Two nice people. Pour a little gasoline on that fire in the form of some uh, who shot John or some kind of bourbon whiskey they were drinking, my gosh. And the two angry people to begin with, with three children uh, that are teenagers, they've been together since uh, 15, 16 years, and they're both a little crazy. And their idea of love making is, I guess, to beat the hell out of each other. They do it all the time. <laughs> And I'm, I'm in, and they bring me pictures of this lady, and uh, I, I saw her in court. She looked terrible. He was just, he didn't look too good himself. But they, 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 they do this all the time. Now, what do we do with a case like that? Like that? Whether it's the, the, some poor woman getting beat up or some man getting beat up, it, you know, if equal means equal, I guess we got to take the sex out of it. When, when someone is beat up, what do we do with it? And the other party does not want to pursue it. Do you want to waste your tax dollars on that? Or you want your neighborhood patrol? I think we're back to again to priorities. Priorities. There's no excuse ever, ever for violence like that in a family. Best in this family I've talked about. This. There's children. That, but they're teenagers. They're so impressionable. You two idiots. If you if you want to fight, why don't you go get in the ring somewhere and leave us taxpayers out of it? Your children don't need to see this. And whoever wins or whatever you do, you guys do with it. That's your business. So. A boxing match, I don't know, maybe that's the only remedy for people like that. I, again, would much rather see those patrolmen in your neighborhood.